Soyuz TMA-1, also catalogued as Soyuz Trademark 35, was a Soyuz mission to the International Space Station ISS, launched by a Soyuz FG launch vehicle with a Russian-Belgian cosmonaut crew blasted off from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. This was the fifth Russian Soyuz-class shuttle to fly to the International Space Station. It was also the first flight of the TMA-class Soyuz spacecraft. Soyuz Trademark 34 was the last of the prior Soyuz Trademark spacecraft to be launched. Crew Mission parameters Mass: 7220 kg, 15910 pounds. Gross: Perigee: 193 km. Apogee: 235 km. Inclination: 51.6 degrees. Period: 88 7 minutes. Topic: Docking with ISS. Docked to ISS, November 1, 2002, 5:01 Coordinated Universal Time, to PIR's module. Undocked from ISS, May 3, 2003, 22:43 Coordinated Universal Time, from PIR's module. Topic: Specifications. Section ref Astrogross mass 7220 kg 15910 pounds Unfueled mass 6320 kg 13930 pounds Height 6.98 meters 22.90 feet Diameter 2.20 meters 7.20 feet Span 10.70 meters, 35.10 feet. Thrust 3.92 kilonewtons, 881 lbf. Specific impulse 305 s. Topic: Mission highlights. In the spring of 2001, a taxi mission to the space station was being scheduled to take place on October 2002. At first the crew was to be Commander Sergei Zalyutin and flight engineer Frank de Winner, however, a report released on February 2002 stated that American musician Lance Bass was interested in joining the crew for a one-week mission on board the Russian spacecraft. The mission began to fall through, and by September 2002 they had discontinued the training of Lance Bass due to the mission organizer's failure to meet the terms of the contract. They filled the vacant seat left by Lance Bass with Russian cosmonaut Yuri Lonchakov. While the Soyuz TMA-1 was on orbit, the Columbia shuttle accident occurred and required a change in crew change-out process. The Soyuz system would become the sole method for crew to launch to and return from ISS, until the Space Shuttle was returned to service in July 2005. Soyuz TMA-1 disembarked from ISS on May 4, 2003 and immediately began its return to Earth, marking the first entry and descent for this Soyuz class. A technical malfunction caused the Soyuz control system to abandon the gentler controlled entry and descent and instead fall back to the harsher ballistic re-entry and descent. This resulted in a steep and off-target landing of the spacecraft. The craft landed 300 miles short of the planned area, and the crew was subjected to severe gravitational loads. Communication with the Soyuz was lost because one antenna was ripped off during descent, and two more did not deploy. The crew regained communications through an emergency transmitter after landing. Due to this event, future crews would be provided with a satellite phone to establish contact with recovery forces. Subsequent Soyuz TMA missions were able to successfully execute controlled re-entries, until the Soyuz TMA-10 and Soyuz TMA-11 missions which both also reverted to ballistic descents. <laughs> 